So I'm going in. face says it all. I am so excited about being up here. We're way, way up. I'm shaking actually, but this is so cool. I think it is the best 106 Swiss francs I have ever spent. So let, let me show you guys what's up here. It's incredible. It's incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Oh, so cool up here. <laughs> See, the birds are up here too. <laughs> oh, look. Look. <laughs> it's so incredible up here. I'm look at my face like, huh? <laughs> so that's the little train we went on. Look how steep that is. I read a sign that said 38% incline. That is really steep. 38%. People on the trails. Lots of blackbirds. They have some type of a restaurant up here, self-service. I guess that's where I get the cable car back down. So uh, I'm going to have to go downstairs later.
It's a well point, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at the people. <laughs> Enjoy the view and the warm weather. Oh, and the fresh air. It's so pretty up here, people. Oh, it's so nice. And there's so much to do. You have trails, like walkable trails that clumsy people like me can do. You have these like stair trails that you could go up that are doable. Then you have like a toboggan that I have to find out about. So here they have another restaurant. This one looks nice. Just need time, that's all. And look at the view. So we are at 2,067 meters up and these I guess are the little, are the different trails, how long they take. I guess that's what this is. I don't really have time to do this, but if you guys come, you can do this. Look at these birds. Since I don't have much time, I'm trying to decide which peak to go up. Either this one here, which seems like lower, not as steep, or that one over there. See? That one. So, because I can't really see behind that mountain, I haven't been able to see what's behind that mountain, I'm gonna go up this peak, see what's there. Because I, I did see the view from the other one, so let's go up this one. Pretty dog. Okay, let's go up with the dog. <laughs> First stop. Gotta enjoy a little bit of this music. This alpine music. And look at the view. Okay. That's the lake down there, obviously. And this is the view, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> There's a little chapel there in the middle. And then the view continues this way. That other peak I had the option of going to is that way, is right there. I don't think I'll have time. The birds are going crazy up here. Oops. Oh, I see. Want to eat? Nice yellow beak. Upa. Pretty. You live in a pretty neighborhood. <laughs> Come here. Yes, yeah, say hi to the YouTubers. Say hello, hoppers. There's our friend. Look at him. So free to go wherever he wants. Fly here, there, everywhere. Ah, oh, so beautiful. He's not afraid. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Stopp ihn auf, wie bei diesem der Platz hier. So, 
Is it worth coming here? Most definitely yes. <coughs> is it worth the price? Yes it is. 106 euros is fine for everything you see up here and for the boat, the little train, the cable car, the bus, and then you're back in Lucerne. So most definitely. Okay, a few tips. Wear comfortable shoes. Today is a very, very hot day in Lucerne. I'm talking about nearly 40 degrees Celsius. So up here, it's sort of cool. Ooh, bird just went by. It's sort of cool, but because today is really hot, but normally I think you would need some warmer clothing up here where if you're going to hike, obviously wear hiking boots um, and wear like warm clothes and also uh, a lot of people have those walking sticks excellent another thing the summer months it's really busy here so it's best to come off peak season like I came in April to Mount Rigi and it was totally different uh, I didn't have to wait on lines I went from the boat right on to the little train so no problem It's busy up here, okay? So, um, I just almost fell. Uh, plan for that. I have to so, take a four o'clock train back in Lucerne, so I have to rush out of here. But if you do decide to come, make sure you come with plenty of time because there's plenty, plenty of trails, doable trails that even people like me can do. And um, I think it's really nice up here and it's really worth staying here for a few hours. Uh, there are a few activities, there are several restaurants, so you don't have to lug like a whole bunch of food. Although it's probably more expensive here. That is up to you. As far as the ride up here, it was one of the most impressive rides I've ever been on. So, I mean, it's, it was really breathtaking. It is so steep to get up here. You're, you're going like constantly for 15, 20 minutes up, 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 and it's constant, you know. Finally, you're up here at 2,000 something meters, so it's really, really steep. Ooh, big horn. Big horn, it's in a place. I can get the next cable car out. Let's go. So they have a little gift shop here. <laughs> Look at this. And they have another little snack bar. So this is where I have to get my cable car that goes to Creens and then there's a bus waiting for me to go back to Lucerne. And that's what I'm going to take. Last departure to Creens is at 5.30. Uh, there's a cable car every 15 minutes. And if you want to go back to Alpnachstadt, then you would go this way and take the little train that we took, the cobweb, whatever, what's it called? The, not the cobweb, what the hell is it called? It would be here. This way, this way. Okay, bye everybody. Okay, Hoppers, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little adventure up to Mount Pilatus. And uh, don't forget to look at Rigi. I have the link above, below, whatever. I'll leave it for you and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm a happy gal now. So what if I miss my train?